Jonathan James and the What If Monster by Michelle Nelson Schmidt. What Some what-if monsters like to hang out and fill up our heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread, and all those what-ifs got stuck in his head. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and look really silly? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and make you feel sad? What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom tells, yells because you're too picky? What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and never get fast? What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you are not any fun? Now wait a minute, I have something to say. After hearing what ifs all through the day, I hear all your worries, I hear all your claims, but what if you're wrong, asked Jonathan James. What if I climb to the top of that tree and I never slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my drawing goes up on the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of all? And what if I taste some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and have a great time no matter what place? And what if I sleep and have the best dream that monsters are sweeter than they all seem? And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? The end.